Hey teachers, it's Tim here. Sight reading is a real challenge for a lot of students. Uh, there's the challenge of actually being able to sight read, the skills behind it, and then there's just practicing the skill, which no student really wants to do. One of the ways that you can help with some of the skills of sight reading is using an app that I'm gonna show you today. It's called Read Ahead, and it's the only app that I know of which practices and helps students practice sight reading by taking bars away and forcing them to look ahead. Uh, it's really, really cool. So let me show you how it works, uh, and you can explore it with your students. So when you first start using the Read Ahead app, you need to choose the level at which you're going to practice your sight reading. So I'm going to just go for level two. And then you can see there's uh, sub-levels, level 2A, 2B, and 2C. And for each of those, there's 12 days worth of practice material, uh, which is heaps and heaps. So let's just start with uh, 2A, day one. I'm going to click day one. Now you can see here we've got three pieces to practice today. And there's different styles of practice available here. Um, in fact, I might just try, um, we'll just go to day two because I've already had a look at day one. So I haven't had a look at any of these. And you can see that the different practice uh, options are, are different uh, on different days uh, of the week and there are different pieces as well. So the main two... Um, now, the main sort of feature of the Read Ahead app is the Read Ahead mode. So let's just go straight in and have a look at that. So we're going to be reading um, part of uh, Turk's Minuet. So I'm just going to go next on this one. So here we can see the music and you can see there's a timer running. So this is your preview, your chance to have a look through the music and work out uh, how you're going to play it. You might even want to... Having a look at the key, uh, having a look at the tempo, the time signature, and getting a feeling for what's going on. Now, the next, that, that's all you get of your preview. So it's a timed preview, which I love. So there's no, uh, you don't have to worry about it as a, as a teacher. The, the app takes care of all of that. Here, you can choose your tempo, uh, and you can also choose whether you'd like to record how this one sounds. I'm not going to do that for now. I'll just go with the ideal metronome timing. I'm going to go to next. Then I'm going to get my hands ready. As you can see, the bars are disappearing and I've got to look ahead and I've got to remember what was coming up while I'm trying to talk. Hey, that wasn't actually too bad. So at the end, you get the opportunity to play it again or you could slow it down or speed it up. For now, we'll just go to next and you can see that the uh, activity that we've just done has been crossed off, which is great. So we could do the same thing. We could do a read ahead with the second piece, or we can do a straight sight reading. So let's go to the read ahead, because I think this is the coolest feature. Oh, so this one I've got, uh, what are we in, C major now? So I've got lots of five finger positions. All right, I've got the idea of that one. Ooh, which accidental did you see? There you go. Uh, what did I see? Oh, I think I saw it. Did I see an F sharp? No. Ooh, C sharp. So it's quite cool. They'll, they'll spring up these little quizzes on you. Uh, so you've got to be prepared, you and your student. Um, all right, so let's go to next and we'll give this one a shot. Okay, I got the idea. So each time you're playing the bar, you can't see that bar. Hence, read ahead. Now this is great because I've worked with sight reading, uh, worked on sight reading with students for years and years and years, and I've gone to the trouble of sort of covering up bars as they play them and things like that. So this app just takes away that need to do any of the, <laughs> those kinds of things. So let's just go back into two, I was on day two. Let's try day three. You'll see that there will be some different activities now available. So we've now got a memory one, and I do like the memory. So this is just purely getting students used to playing what they've just seen without seeing the music in front of them, which is really important for this activity. So here's uh, the kind of thing we're going to go. It's just one bar at a time, and we can get a feeling for how hard this is going to be. Two, three, one, two. So I watch. Two, three. So at hard, it doesn't stay up for very long. It's maybe one second medium. Two, three. It's almost there for a full bar. One, two, three. And easy level, two, three. It's a full bar. Medium, let's try medium. And we're gonna go next. 
and we'll go start. So I'm gonna get one, two, three. So I've got the tempo, two, three. Now I play. Next one. Now I play. Two, three. Ooh. Next one, two, three. Two, two three. Two, three. Ooh. Oh, easy. And there we go. That's our activity for today on our second piece. And one of the other ones is sight reading. So uh, there's a little note always about the piece. Sometimes they're written by the app developers. Sometimes they're in the public domain like this one. And this is now a pure sight read. So let me show you how that works. I'm just going to go start and so you just then have the opportunity to sight read the piece through so that should be kind of your final um, the final outcome of what you're doing so you've got the memory which is getting you used to playing when the bars have disappeared the read ahead which puts that mode into practice and then the sight, sight read the sort of final um, piece of the puzzle and you've got heaps of levels to choose from you can unlock high levels as you go you can track your progress on here you've also got the opportunity to set practice goals which can be great for students so I really think there's heaps of potential in this app and it really does test those skills that students need that ability to not be play not be reading what they're playing be reading at least one bar ahead so I hope you enjoyed that look at Read Ahead. It's a great app. Explore it with some of your students. Just download it yourself, perhaps, so you get a feeling for how it works and how it might be useful in your studio. And if you have used it before, if you've got any questions about it, then drop me a message below. Make sure you hit the subscribe and that little bell icon so you get notified when my next video comes out. I'll see you then. Hey, just before you go, make sure you click here to subscribe. And we've got thousands of other videos all on the topic of music education and teaching. So make sure you check out some of those other ones here. And I'll see you in the next video.